and welcome back to my channel. Today is December 26th, aka Boxing Day or the first day of Kwanzaa. So if you celebrated Christmas Day yesterday, I hope you had so much fun and I hope you had so much to eat. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Nicole and I'm just a gal that loves food. I love baking, I love cooking, and I love sharing all of my recipes with you guys. I post weekly on YouTube, so if you love food and you love watching recipe videos, definitely subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my super quick and easy French toast recipe. I do add a secret ingredient in my French toast and I think it is a game changer. If you love French toast, this recipe is definitely for you. And let's be real, it's the day after Christmas, we're tired but we're still hungry and we need something quick and delicious to whip up and this recipe is it. Before we get started, as usual, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. and. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more recipe videos from me. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. Let's get started. All right guys, so this recipe is relatively easy. So in a bowl, we're gonna add in two large eggs. Then we're gonna add in two thirds cup of heavy cream. And do you see how scary that looks? <laughs> Next, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of granulated sugar and my secret ingredient, a pinch of ground nutmeg. Then we're gonna finish off with a pinch of salt. And now we mix until all the ingredients are thoroughly combined. Now we're gonna take this delicious concoction and pour it into a shallow dish. Now set this aside and it's time to prep our pan. We're gonna set the heat to medium heat and place two tablespoons of butter into our pan. Swish the butter around and make sure that your pan is evenly coated with butter. In this recipe, I'm using day-old brioche bread, but you can use any type of soft white bread that doesn't have a crunchy crust, like challah works perfectly fine as well. Dunk these slices of bread into your egg concoction, making sure it's evenly coated, and place it directly into your hot pan. And we're gonna flip once they've turned a golden brown. At this point, your kitchen should smell like cinnamon French toast heaven. In case you missed it earlier in the video, this recipe is good for 10 slices of French toast. Now, for my most favorite part of the recipe, we're going to be making homemade Chantilly cream. In a bowl, we're going to add in 1 cup of heavy cream, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then using a hand mixer on medium speed, we're going to mix until our cream becomes frothy. Once you see those bubbles, add in one tablespoon of powdered sugar. Then continue mixing on medium speed until your heavy cream starts to form stiff peaks. And that is it for our homemade Chantilly cream. It's super easy. Look at how soft and silky it looks and it's so delicious. Now that our French toast and cream are done, it's time to assemble our French toast stack. First, we're gonna start off with two or three slices of French toast. Then we're gonna top with a large dollop of our Chantilly cream. Then we're gonna top with our favorite fruit. I'm using strawberries in this recipe. And of course, we're gonna make it rain powdered sugar. Just look how beautiful. Are you ready for the maple syrup drizzle? Because it's coming. Look at how gorgeous. And lastly, this is totally optional, but I felt a little festive, so we're gonna add in a sprig of rosemary. And there you have it, folks. That is our super easy and super delicious French toast recipe. So perfect for Boxing Day. We're all tired, we need a quick breakfast, and this is it. All right, guys, that is how I make my favorite and my go-to French toast recipe. It's so easy, so delicious. If you guys do make it, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I love sharing all of your recreations on my page and I'm so excited to see all of them. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more recipe videos from me. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time, which is in the new year. How exciting! We are so done with 2020. Bye!